In this question, they give us the, they say, consider the following graph on the interval negative 105 degrees and 255 degrees. So they give us the graph and we have to answer a few questions. The first question is, what is the amplitude of the function? So you'll notice here that we have the center line running on the x-axis. So the center line is y is equal to 0. And that's our center line, y is equal to 0. And the reason why that's important is because the amplitude is how high do we go above the center line. Okay, how high do we go above the center line? And we see we go two units above the center line and two units below the center line. So our amplitude, what's the amplitude of the function is 2. What is the period of the function? In other words, how long does it take for me from where I start to where I start again? In other words, how long does one cycle last? Now, one way you can do is you can, you can start there maybe and see here we go down, up, down. It should be more or less here. That's at about 210. Uh, this seems to be 30, so plus another 30 would be 270. From negative 90 to 270, I go down, up, and down, up again. I'll restart that cycle again. So that you could see as 360. Another way to do it is just to start here at the center. We can see this is a cos graph and the reason why we notice it's a cos graph is because instead of starting at zero on the center line it starts on the amplitude at the bottom this time so we know that in front of the cos must be a negative okay um, our amplitude is 2 cos okay so the negative 2 makes that we start on the uh, bottom part of the amplitude and then we have no shift, so it's simply x. Uh, we actually want to know what is the period. What is dividing the 360? That's what's going to come up there. And our center line is simply plus 0. Okay, so what is dividing the period? So we know if we had to divide into our period into 4. So if our period was 360, somewhere here, we divide it into 4 at 180. 90 and 270 then at 360 we used to get back here again okay we should be back there again if the period is not changed at all if the period hasn't changed at all then it would simply be 360 in other words p would be equal to 1 and that's what we see we have here now how did i notice that well i just saw well if the first time i reach my center line is at 90 degrees and that is normal. That's when my period is 360 degrees. If I reached my center line at 45 degrees, so in other words, it looked like something like that. If I reach it to 45 degrees, then I know my period has been divided by 2. In other words, in front of, that shouldn't be a P, that should be an X. In front of the X should be a 2 because my period is divided by 2. If it's at 30 degrees, if I reach my center line at 30 degrees already, something like that, and I know I have divided my period into 3 because the first time I'm supposed to reach is at 90, but I reach it at 30 already, so things are happening 3 times as fast. Okay, and uh, with that motivation, you can go and uh, uh, see if you can argue it that way. Or else just see where can I find a point that I have repeated at another place again. Okay, so my period is just 360 degrees. Now, what is the equation of this function? Well, we saw it is a cos. It's a cos function. How do we notice it's cos? Because at x equal to 0 or at my center doesn't seem to start on the center line but on the period. Okay. So it is a cos function. What is my period? We saw my, uh, sorry, my amplitude. We saw my amplitude is 2. But because I start at the lower part of the amplitude and not on the top part of the amplitude, it must mean that this is a negative 2. Okay. 
On the inside here, we had x. We saw that our period is 360, which means that p must be 1 because my period is 360 divided by p, and p is the coefficient, that which comes in front of the x. In this case, it's a 1. Okay. Plus, my center line is just 0. So if I write it out neatly, this is just negative 2 cos x. Okay, maybe a long way for something you immediately saw, but um, this is a systematic way to really find the equation of any simple sine and cos graph. See you in the next video, probably a little bit more difficult than this.